What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new LEGO Sonic sets. Let's get into it. LEGO has kindly sent us five of the brand new LEGO Sonic sets that are coming out later this summer. I'm very excited to build these as well as play with it. I'm really excited about this like ball going around the loop here and how to interact with it. We've had a few Sonic sets before. One was a Lego Dimension set and then one was a recent Diorama set. I think I'm most excited about Sonic's Green Hill Zone Loop Challenge, but these all look really great and I'm excited to get building. Sonic Speed Sphere Challenge. All right, taking a look at our first set. This is going to be Sonic Speed Sphere Challenge. Say that 10 times fast. This is actually going to be the first time we're taking a look at this new ball launcher contraption thing. Um, it's pretty interesting how it works. I like this little Sonic star here like that. And it's just a bunch of Technic and it uses a lot of the rubber stuff there. That rubber here causes a lot of friction so that way it doesn't move on the table. And uh, you pretty much just slam it down like that and it pushes out the ball like so and if you really punch it down it'll go a launch in which is a pretty cool feature if you ask me this is my first time really getting a chance to like play with this thing the set also comes with a few other features and builds such as this little uh little arch thing kind of very reminiscent of what you see in the sonic games i like this little flower piece that it has as well as a nice printed element here with the rings what's really great about these Sonic sets is there's like no stickers at all, which I absolutely adore. These rings here are also new to me. I don't think I've ever actually seen this ring piece before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these are new and it comes with three of them. It also comes with this little ladybug thing and a tiny, teeny, tiny little cute little blue robin. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. You can't forget that it comes with a little beach scene. He's got a nice little chair there to relax on as well as a glizzy on the table. This guy eats a lot of junk food for someone who is very athletic. <laughs> My favorite little joke is uh, there's a nice little DJ table with these little printed Sonic vinyl pieces. And you can like spin them and go like, wicka, 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 woo. It's nice this actual ramp piece is supposed to kind of break away. It almost looks like little like Minecraft blocks, but they're all just jumpers stacked on top of each other like that. So it is meant to be a breakawayable piece, and that's how you defeat the little evil ladybug, I guess, and free the little tiny bird. Just keep in mind there are a lot of loose pieces in the set, mostly the bird as well as this little cooler, which is nice. It actually comes with some ice as well as your first printed Chaos Cola. Doesn't that look really cool? So you get this in this set, and I believe in one others. Pretty cool piece to have. Taking a look at the figure here, uh, you can pull Sonic right on out of this little weird ball thing, and there he is. He uh, he looks cute. I need to go find my other two versions of Sonic, but I'm pretty sure he's almost identical to the one that came out last year. He's got the nice little uh, prints on the side of his feet, dual molded legs. Uh, looks good. I think there's two versions of Sonic you get in this wave. One where he's just smiling like that and the one with the little winky eye. To put him in the ball, all you really do is take these little half spherical things and you're supposed to place it just like so where his arm is just under these little notches here and then close it on up. And he actually holds pretty well. He doesn't jiggle that much. Check it out. Not a lot of jiggle. I would be like a little bit worried about like rubbing the paint or something, but looking at it in here, he doesn't really uh, seem to be hitting along the sides that much. It looks pretty secure. He kind of wiggles just a little bit, but um, not enough to really be concerned about. All right, let's go ahead and launch it for the first time. I know you're all really anxious about it. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, that was a little intense. <laughs> All right, that was actually pretty good. I was able to kind of get it to go through this little arch thing, but unfortunately I couldn't get it to go up this ramp. So I'm gonna try one more time so we can free the little bird and then get the Chaos Emerald that's right here on top of this little uh, diamond, or I guess the diamond itself is the Chaos Emerald. Uh, 
Uh, wasn't a clean win, but I'm gonna call it a W. Tails' is workshop and tornado plane. All right, now we're looking at Tails Workshop and Tornado Plane. This is gonna be one of the smaller sets in the wave, really. All these sets are pretty small, except for like one or two. Taking a look at this version of Sonic, looks identical to the one we just saw. However, his face has a little bit of a different print. He's got a little winky eye there and a little grimace, so he's pretty cute. Got the printed legs on the side there too. Not much to say about that, something we haven't seen. But this is the very first time we're getting Tails as a minifigure. I think his name is Miles, if I'm not mistaken. He has two tails, you guessed it. I remember in the game it was fun because he could like flip them around like a little helicopter and and, uh, and essentially he could like help Sonic, you know, uh, fly around. It was like easy mode. I think it was also good like if your mom got really upset at you for playing video games and not letting your brother play, then your brother would have to be Tails, right? He's a really great figure. I'm very excited about it. Uh, printing is well done. The tail is a little bit like of that kind of hard rubber. It feels pretty sturdy. I will say that the tail color is a little bit interesting. This is supposed to be, you know, like pure white. It might even be hard to pick up on camera, but I believe the white was painted on top of this like yellowy color. So the white kind of comes out like a sort of pink. So just a heads up. I'm also very into the uh, printing there on his shoes. That's really cute and that could be used for other minifigures, I'm sure. It's very exciting getting a Tails minifigure. I think for the most part, my biggest qualm with these sets is that we only get like three characters. We get Sonic, Rose, and Tails, and I guess Dr. Eggman but I would like to see something more like Knuckles and Shadow, but we'll talk about that later. So now taking a look at this plane here, I'm very excited about this plane. I mostly like the fact that it has like that angle here at the top. It makes it seem like it's actually aerodynamic. You can actually spin on it or even blow on it. <sighs> it actually glides pretty well, like on the surface of the table, um, which is actually exciting. I've been like running around with it all day. And then you can put tails right on in the plane and there's even room for Sonic to stand on top of it, which seems totally safe, right? Don't try this at home, kids. And <laughs> Taking a look at the side build, it comes with this little workshop here. It's, you know, it's, it's a tiny little build. It's got some tools here. It's got like some sort of, uh, I don't know, I'm assuming this is some sort of like chaos emerald finder of some sort. It does come with a yellow chaos emerald. Not much to really say about it other than I do like the color and this little printed tails piece that comes on the top. You actually do see that printed tail piece here on the plane as well, printed on both sides. On the side you do get one little bad guy. It's this uh, little like hornet thing that kind of flies around. He's kind of scary. When you open him up there on the thorax you'll see that you will actually get a little baby chicken. Oh, I love these little tiny animals. They're so cute, those heads so big. That of course is a feature of the game that when you like destroy a bad guy, a little woodland creature pops out. I think that's like the whole theme is you're just saving a bunch of little woodland creatures. Also, you cannot forget the most important part of this set is a lounge chair for Sonic to lounge in, as well as a little toolbox. This set also comes with three rings given to the elves, wisest and fairest of them all. So, pretty cool. Amy's Animal Rescue Island. Taking a look at Amy's Animal Rescue Island. There's like a lot to this set, but also not a lot to this set. It's just a really fun and cute set, I think, for the most part. It comes with Amy with her big hammer, Tails with his little uh, Luke's Landspeeder surfboard there, a few cute animals, as well as this evil looking crab thing. From what I can tell, Tails is the same figure we've seen before, but let's go ahead and take a look at Amy. I really like the job they did on Amy. We'll start from the bottom up. I like the little uh, accent pieces there on her sneakers. And she has that skirt piece, that infamous skirt piece, but it doesn't seem to be a big problem in this set. Like her legs aren't coming off. They don't come off as easy as they did in some other older figures like Minnie was always a big problem like in the Disney sets. Her printing is pretty basic, but also that's really all we need for an animated character like that. And I love her big head. It's just a big molded head like that. And just look at that cute smile. I don't want to get in her bad side because this hammer is pretty massive and I'm pretty sure she uses it to hit Sonic a few times. <laughs> The set comes with three of those little cute animals. We're gonna start off with this little pink bird. We saw a blue robin earlier. This is just the pink version of it. Really cute. I, I just love these animals. 
Then we have this little uh, turquoise looking rabbit. <laughs> Look at that, it's so adorable. And last we have a pig. Emily's gonna absolutely love this little thing. It is so winking adorable. So I guess one of the features of this set is that you can put the animals just in like little spots there. So you can put them like there so they can spin around. That's so cute. Uh, you can give them a bath on this water slide. <laughs> I love it. And uh, this one I'm just gonna have making a sandcastle. Taking a look at the set itself, it actually has a pretty good footprint there. I really like this little sandcastle. My favorite has got to be this little tropical bar here. It comes with all sorts of these little like uh, fruit and tropical foods as well as a drink. We're just going to pretend that's an age appropriate drink right there. I do like the detail in here with the nougat and brown alternating bricks as well. And you can actually open it up like that. Ooh, isn't that cool? And you can reveal some beds. So you can actually, if we spin it around here, you can actually put all the animals to sleep, which is again, super cute. So there's three beds there, three animals. <laughs> it's just too cute. I'm dying of cuteness here. Another feature of this set, um, I don't really understand it, but the bridge here can uh, collapse. So you can pull this little Technic beam in and out and the bridge will uh, withdraw and come back. It's kind of interesting. And of course, the best feature of this set is gonna be using that mallet that Amy has to just totally obliterate this rock. So the idea is, that you put the crab here, the crab is getting all upset and he wants to, I guess, eat the, the miniature pig or something. And if you just come over here, you can hit this down really hard. And the crab goes a launching. This splits this up and you can actually reveal a Chaos Emerald as well. I believe there's gonna be a Chaos Emerald in all the sets. And in the back here, you'll see that there's actually a teeny tiny little egg. Um, I guess maybe a reference to Eggman or just uh, another bird or something, who knows? Kind of cute. Looking here in the back, I'm realizing there's actually another blue Chaos Emerald or Kyber Crystal, whatever you wanna call it, chilling here too. So this one comes with two different colors of Chaos Emeralds. I have to say, I do like this tree. We kind of see this build in a few other sets and it's just a little nice fun, uh, I guess it's a banana tree, but I just like how it really matches that Sonic vibe. The designers did a really good job of getting these sets to look like it comes from the Sonic games, at least the ones that I played. Sonic versus Dr. Eggman's Death Egg Robot. All right, guys, now we're going to be taking a look at Sonic vs. Dr. Eggman's Death Egg Robot. That's a really horrific name. I'm excited about it. This mech right here looks super cool. It comes with the same ball launcher that we saw before. It also comes with this character I'm not very familiar with. I believe his name is Cubot or something. I'm guessing he's just kind of a henchman or something for Dr. Eggman. The set also comes with a few little obstacles for Sonic to get through. There's this little ramp that's kind of cool, some spikes, kind of scary. One more ring, one ring to rule them all probably. And it also comes with this little like incubator for animals and because I love these animals. We have the same blue robin that we got before and the same rabbit that we also just saw too. But the new one that we have is this really cute baby turtle. Look at this baby turtle, it's so cute, it's like crushed. I love its eyes, they're all bulbous like that. And yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good one. I'm a big fan of turtles. And again, you can put those right back in here, but you can also put them in the back of this robot here. So if we were to put all of these in here, we have to tell Sonic to, uh, to save them. Let me get this in there. Yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. Cool. And now, unfortunately, Dr. Eggman has captured the poor, unfortunate woodland creatures, and it's up to you and Sonic to save them. You know how it goes. I'm going to move all of this aside here so I can show you a better look at this robot, because it is just a really good robot. I'm very happy with it. When you open it up there, ooh, who does that reveal? None other than Dr. Eggman. And in minifigure form, kind of. Dr. Eggman here just looks absolutely fantastic. Just such a vast improvement over that brick-built version we got last year. A lot of cool detailed printing here. His head doesn't come off or swivel or anything, but he does have these swole arms. Look at that. Just massive Technic pin there. It kind of goes out. I think Hagrid's arms are like that, if I'm not mistaken. And then the legs, these look like Woody legs. I want to say they're the same length as Woody legs. 
Uh, so they're three studs in total, and then they got the nice little little print there. So very excited about this figure, and he comes in two sets. He fits right on there in the top, and you can just lay him down. He's got a posability in both his hip and his ankles, which is nice. Two points of articulation. You don't even get that in the Imperial ATSTs anymore. Weak. His jetpack here is pretty cool. I imagine he can fly pretty far, pretty fast. And overall, it's just like a really cute and fun build. You will notice though, like I just saw, uh, he'll if you lean him back too much, there's a lot of give. So just a heads up, I would try to just keep him standing straight up, make his ankles go like upwards. He does have these cool wingspan arms and some big old shoulders. <laughs> and kind of scary looking like uh, hands. So one, I believe, is a claw. That kind of uh, goes like that. You know, it looks kind of scary, but it's really smooth articulation. And his left hand is a Gatling gun. So check it out. We have actually seen this before in other sets. I believe the way, I don't, I don't actually know how to fire it. Let me try firing it real quick. Oh, there it is. Oh, yep. Yeah. Gotta hit the camera. Oh, I got one. <laughs> So there you go, now you gotta go find them later, so we'll see what happens with that. I'm not gonna put them back in right now. There's a lot of playability with just this robot alone, but I haven't even showed you the important part yet. He has this feature where if you tickle his belly hard enough, he'll uh, he'll poop out the back, and that's how you free the animals. So let's go ahead and try to set it up to work with the Sonic system. I feel like this is gonna take me a while to get right. I think we should use this ramp. I'm going to ignore the other obstacles for now. And let's see what happens. Three, two, one. First try. You saw it here first. Nailed it. Freed the animals. Dr. Eggman is no more. So this is a really fun playability. I really enjoy this set. I did forget to mention this set does come with one dark blue Chaos Emerald, so I believe that puts us at four Chaos Emeralds. I don't know, I can't remember what happens when you get them all. Chaos Control, I don't know if it's like a Dragon Ball Z thing, maybe it's like the Infinity Gems, I, I don't know. Overall, I really like this set. This is a really well-designed robot. Sonic's Green Hill Zone Loop Challenge. And we are at the final set. This is Sonic's Green Hill Zone Loop Challenge. That's a mouthful. It sounds like a terrible cereal. This set came with seven bags worth of stuff. It starts off with Sonic and the Ball Launcher. It's the exact same one we got in the other two sets. And this is going to be Sonic with the little winky eye there. So nothing new that we haven't seen already. It's also going to come with Amy and a speedboat and a new hammer. So that's kind of cool. Same Amy, looks exactly the same as the one we got before. It also comes with Dr. Eggman Robotnik, same exact one we also saw before, but it comes in this cool mech. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Other new characters is we have this little chameleon. The chameleon's kind of cute, right? Karma is a chameleon. Come and go. And we have this really creepy looking like uh, little fish dude here. He's, uh, he's kind of terrifying, really. He's a, he's a thing of nightmares. And as a bonus, we have a little uh, life raft there where Sonic can lounge on, so that's kind of funny, right? So the idea of this set is that you can launch Sonic from way over here. He'll go around this loop with the alternating brown and nougat, go through this hoop, and defeat some bad guys as well as Dr. Eggman. Uh, we'll see in a minute if that actually works. If I recall the game right, I believe pretty much like the whole level, Dr. Eggman will be like following you backwards and shooting things at you. And when you make it to the very end, Dr. Eggman will land into this little like leg walking thing where we have a few more animals trapped in there. Taking a look at these animals, there's four and they're also all really cute. Surprise, surprise. So same as the pink and the blue bird, but now we have one in black. Another one of those turquoise bunnies. This time a little puppy. Look at the little puppy. It's so cute. I love that little puppy dog. And then lastly, one more little blue robin. All of these little baby animals can fit into the butt of Dr. Eggman's robot. And by the end of the level, what would ideally happen is 
Dr. Eggman would attach himself to this, and then you'd have to fight this other killer robot. It's not as cool as the other mech we saw previously. However, it is still a pretty good mech. Gets the job done, and I think it does a really good job of um, representing the game. The mech comes equipped with a chainsaw because, you know, it's a game for children. Dr. Eggman, of course, chilling up top. There's a green Chaos Emerald, which I think brings us to six Chaos Emeralds so far in this wave. And a nice transparent butt. There isn't really any play feature that I see for, like, easily destroying it. Like, there isn't a lever you can push that, like, launches him or anything. He just kind of goes in and out, which isn't bad. And there's not really much articulation here other than his little footies. His little footies can walk around like that. That's kind of cute. So you put him down over here at the end of the level, and then now let's bring it all back. The set also comes with three more rings. Got a pretty good collection of those by now. And this transparent cloud thing so you could have Dr. Robotnik flying. Nice. Not a lot of clutch power on this. You are able to actually snap them into place there, so that way you don't lose them, which is kind of nice. I like having the whole thing as one cohesive track. Taking a look at the backside here, you'll see there's a nice little area for Sonic and Amy to grill. Maybe they're on a romantic date. There's another glizzy there. You know Sonic loves his glizzies, as well as that inner tube I showed you guys before, and a little picnic area. So this is just a really fun thing. You get one additional Chaos Cola on the side. And then when you move past this ramp, you go into this hoop, you can actually see that this tree here, it's a play feature. You can tell it's a play feature because of this big pink circle here. You know, that's what Amy's supposed to hit. And in this tree is where the chameleon is. You can put one of the little baby animals in it. And then when you hit it down like that, boom, dead. Moving on down here, you can see this little bridge also has a little pink thing that you can hit. And when you do, when you have this upright, boom, fish, dead. A few other features hidden without is there is actually this really cool printed power up of Sonic's shoe. I forgot what that one does. I'm assuming it makes them even faster somehow. And then we actually have a, another red Chaos Emerald hiding in the back. So that puts us at seven. We have seven Chaos Emeralds in this wave of sets. I'm going to try my best to capture this all on footage, but I'm going to do my best to launch Sonic through the entire loop, through the hoop, take out the iguana, take out the fish, and take out Dr. Eggman. Let's see how far I get. That, that was actually pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. We made it all the way to Dr. Eggman. Let's see if we can reproduce it. Three, two, one. Okay, that's actually more what I expected to see. It is kind of fun to play this around. I can imagine playing this with a friend or a sibling and trying multiple times to see if you can get it, even though you really don't change much. Maybe just like the slight angle of this little launcher can have a big impact on whether it makes it or not. I'm gonna try one more time just for giggles. Nice. <laughs>